Carla Bonner here with the lovely Kate Sobrano. Hey, how are you? Very excited, very excited. I'm going to be performing in Charlie's latest. Check it out. Beautiful life, such a beautiful life, and to think we nearly didn't make it. How does it feel to be on the set of Neighbours? It sort of does mean a lot because it's amazing. Um, my husband is, you know, he's directed different things um, and, you know, you mention something like Neighbours to people and it resonates with them a lot clearer than a lot of other um, programs because it's part of their life. But I actually had a great opportunity to sing the Neighbours theme for the, the creator of the whole show um, oh. with Barry Crocker. I actually got to sing for his birthday just recently, oh. so I'm sort of a little bit of the Neighbours family. You must be Kate. I'm Kate Sobrano. Yes, I know. Happy oh. <laughs> birthday. It's a very Thanks. special day, huh? <laughs> so where am I going to get set up? What, you got me Kate Sobrano <laughs> for my birthday? Beautiful Life, I wrote for my husband, actually. When my daughter uh, came along and we discovered I was pregnant and we were, were going to decide where we would live, um, you know, he, he would often come out with this statement, God, to think we nearly didn't do that. Like, mm. to think we nearly didn't do it. To think we nearly didn't get married or to think we nearly didn't go and have her or to think we nearly didn't move to LA, or do all these things. And um, it was a song to celebrate the fact that we don't have to ever have regrets because we always do forge ahead and we always do end up doing what we desire to do. Such a beautiful life and I'm so glad I got to spend my Well, Craig in his day, I mean, he, he and I have shared a few bevies and, you know, different intervals when he's been oh, working with Rocky Horror Everybody shows. had a crush on Craig. No, well, I, I'm, well, I'm not certain if I had it. I don't want to get him all excited about this or anything. <laughs> he's, he's, he's such a lover boy. He's so romantic and he is that character from Chicago he's been playing. What's the strangest thing that's ever happened to you on stage? Well, one of the scariest things that ever happened to me, um, which was when Prince Charles had come to Australia, and there was that assassination scare. Right. And the guy took out the starter gun and started, you know, offloading a couple of rounds. And everybody on the stage dropped to the ground. All security fell all over Prince Charles. And I was standing there on my own. Nobody came to look oh, after me. I mean, you know, we'd all grieve the loss of Kate Soprano, not. <laughs> Sorry, we prince didn't have Charles. Charles to save her. Yeah, we had the prince. <laughs> and all due respect to the prince, he got a bit splat too because like he got laid on by about 15 hurly burly security men. So, do you watch the show? I do in you parts. Do. Yeah. Who's your favourite character? You are. Oh, really? <laughs> You're okay. the hottie. You're the cougar. Oh. Oh no, a cougar. Well, I have well, a defini definition of cougar, and that's 45 plus. Kate. Is it? Yeah. Well, oh, we're not cougars at all. <laughs> No. Uh, yeah. No. But I thought cougars had to do with the fact that if you've had kids or not. Oh, is it? I'll go with that. Yeah, okay, maybe that. maybe it's milf. And I'll forgive you if you sing of king. It just makes you more beautiful to me. Hey, Kate, thank you so much for visiting us out here. It was oh, so lovely. My to have pleasure. You. My husband's going to be really happy to have even just considered that I might have touched you. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's kind of tragic to say it, but it's true. Oh, that's a bit beautiful. smitten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a pleasure to be here. And, thank, um, you. thank you. See ya.